time's nothing else. Every child knows the play is nobler than work. Even a child knows that the worth and merit of a game is not inherent in the game itself, but rather in the value of that which is put at hazard. Games of chance require a wager to have any meaning at all. Games of sport involve the skill and strength of the opponents. The humiliation of defeat and the pride of victory are in themselves sufficient stake because they inhere the worth of the principles and define them. But try the chance or try the worth. All games aspire to the condition of war. For here that which is wagered swallows up the game, the player, and all. Suppose the two men playing at cards with nothing to wager save for their lives between themselves. Who has not heard of such a tale? A turn of the card to tell if he is to die by that man's hand or that man by his. This is the nature of our game, the nature of war. War is the ultimate game because war is at last the forcing of the unity of existence. War is a comedy game show.